My next job today is to help Jeremiah with his spinach. The leaves have some brown patches and the edges are curling up. So, we've invited Duncan Mukuna, a senior field specialist from Syngenta, to see if he can help. So Duncan, yes. as you are doing your inspection, I'm sure you must have seen challenges here and there. Yes. Tell us about them. Uh, good. So when I was doing my scouting, I came across a number of challenges uh, Jeremiah is going through. One in his spinach, you can see a lot of leaf lust. You can see from the look of the leaf, it doesn't look quite uh, healthy mm -hmm. and appealing. So you cannot take this to the market. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you lose your yield. So from Syngenta, we have solution for leaf lust. We have a product by the name Otiva. It's a fungicide controlling leaf, uh, leaf lust. You use 20 ml in 20 liters, that's the rate of application. And please, every time you're using the product, please uh, read the product label, it's here on the back. You are able to get the instruction, you follow the instruction how to use the product to get the right dose. And also, when you're using the product, wear your personal protective gears, very important. For your health, is our health. What are these protective gears all about? Mm -hmm. PPE, uh, personal protective gears, is the cloth that you wear when you are doing the spraying. This keep you safe. To name part of the uh, PPE, we talk about the gum boots, you talk about gloves, you talk about uh, nose mask, mm -hmm. uh, you also talk about face uh, veil. These protect you from uh, this droplet coming from the chemicals. Mm -hmm. So with that, you are able to keep yourself safe. And uh, that's important because we are repeating once again, your health is our way off. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to tuck in the side, uh, inside the gum boot? Eh? The moment you tuck in your apron, Probably the product is leaking, it will find your it into your gum boot. Mm -hmm. This will bring that contamination. So every time you are supposed to wear over your gum boot, so that even the leakage can just flow down. Mm -hmm. So the second problem I've come across is our thrips. Our thrips are pests, uh, very tiny, you can't see them with your naked eyes, uh, but they destroy your crop or attack your crop, and they feed by sucking the sap mm -hmm. or the, the food. So that's why you can see the leaf is curling inward and this also makes you a lot of uh, losses. Mm -hmm. For this we have a product by the name Dynamic, it's an insecticide controlling drips. Uh, we apply at uh, 10 ml in 20 liters. Also make sure that you lead the product label, it's very important. And now that you've given the two products, yes. do they work hand in hand or do you spray one, then wait maybe a week, then spray the other or they can, because you know farmers also love to, you want to save time. I also want yes. to save time. And, and money. Uh, the good thing with these two products, they are compatible. A fungicide is a chemical used to control fungal growth on crops, whereas an insecticide is a chemical that controls attack by insects. As the two products are compatible, they can be mixed. Add 10 milliliters of Dynamic and 20 milliliters of Otiva in the same 20 liters of water. Which is the best time to apply? Uh, uh, the insecticides? The best time to apply the chemical is early in the morning. The pests are not very active at that moment mm -hmm. in the early morning. All right. Yes. After how long can a farmer be able to consume the food after spray? Uh, for this product called Otiva, it has three days PHI, that is pre-harvest interval. So he sprays, he'll just wait for three days. He is able now to harvest the, uh, the produce, take it to the market, it's safe for consumption. Mm -hmm. uh, very important. For Dynamic also, it has uh, three days PHI, so it's very important. So you're working with products which are safe. And that's why for Syngenta, uh, we give our, our farmers uh -huh. a program that they are able to follow. Uh, the program shows uh, when to, to apply against which pest or disease uh -huh. and the PHI. So um, that would work for our spinach? Exactly. If we do that and follow the agricultural practices, weed and everything, our spinach is going to be fine. Perfect. We are going to have beautiful exactly. leaves. We'll yeah? get the quality. All right. Good. That is good. It is good to use agronomists because that is where you can get whatever is required for a farm to be better. Information is power. Choose for a person who is wiser than you and you'll get what you require.